Have you ever witnessed the murder of I can kill someone with that. Ah! <laughs> fucking hurt. When I first took the offer, I was a bit surprised because, as you said, they had been, been together for 18 months. Uh, I felt like I had played really good throughout 2016, so I knew that if they were going to call somebody, it would most likely be me, to be honest. I believe that last year he was one of the biggest talent in, in CSGO, but he just lacked the last part of his, his, his game. But during 2016, he, he really stepped up. Uh, you saw him in Leipzig and Dreamhack Malmer. So he was becoming a great player. So I kept in contact with him. And uh, I talked with the, some of the players. Um, we decided to, to, to make a switch. It was hard to make the transitions because I'd also been playing, uh, first of all, with MSL for one and a half year in Dignitas. And it's weird just leaving your best friends, how to say it. but. I feel like no matter how it would go, I would be disappointed in myself if I never took the opportunity. Even though I were in a slum as we are now, but I'm really happy that I took the chance no matter what, because otherwise I would, wouldn't have been okay with it in the long run. That's good. We had the summer period in 2015 where we were one of the best teams, if not the best. And I think the reason why we made the change was because we couldn't deliver that result again. If we kept Rene, we would probably be a stable team. We would still be top four, top five. That was something we thought of, like, do we want to be a top four team, stable team, or do we actually want to try and change something and try and become the best team? We felt like we tried so much that there wasn't really anything left to try. So bringing in Marcus gives us room to improve because he's young, he's motivated. Knowing that we have had this boot game and knowing that we have not been playing that well lately, we, we kind of need a win in a tournament. That's also why we are sending Powerland. We need some confidence and it's going to be a tough task. What up, Gason? Kick so still, man. Tampa. Hello. <laughs> 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 This is, not, this is not good. We've ended up in the, in the, middle, of the, in the middle of the town center when we are <laughs> making a pool center. <laughs> we can drop like a clothes from here. We're like shopping in a car. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Yes. 
We're not the best team in Denmark anymore. <laughs> they just kind of knew what we were doing, and that's like it wasn't really pure energy strat. We didn't play our game, and we didn't hit our shots, and we didn't play confident, so that's why we lost. We we made a lot of changes before uh, the summer break. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to work on them because we had to play with with, with play for for the major. Um, Dupree got sick, and we had so many tournaments in general. So we took this bootcamp before Powerland, not focusing on Powerland, but to look at the bigger picture and be ready for some of the, the bigger events. After the disappointment at Powerland, we just yeah we decided that to instantly bootcamp in order to be ready for Kiev. Nobody wants to lose, so you either sacrifice or you get sacrificed, you know. It's what needs to be done, is we need to be harder on ourselves and just keep on evolving because we need results. Like we've been unstressed with getting results because we would eventually get there, you know, and it's just get got worse and worse and yeah, you, you, the only thing you really can like do is, is you can do your best and if it's not good enough for the team then you've done your best. You can you can tell that to yourself and be happy with yourself. That's what I at least believe in. Um, and if you're not good enough for the team, someone else is. I think everybody is frustrated and it's obviously why 
everybody says yes to go to a boot camp like right before an event uh, again and right after an event and a boot camp as well so people are doing what they can and if as I said if everybody is doing what they can and it's not good enough for the team then they can justify it to themselves at least that's what I believe Some of our issues um, were larger than just replacing a player. Um, that can also see, you can also see that on, on, on our results lately. Um, we have an identity crisis, we call it. Uh, we're having a hard time finding ourselves. The most important thing is that it's a mental battle for us. I think the thing is that we're having struggles mentally in terms of we don't play the same way that we do against other teams. Um, I think it because you always, you always want to prove something when you play against your countrymen, and especially when they have like kind of caught up to the title of being the best like team in Denmark, then you kind of have the feeling of that like, you want to get it back, you know. So there's always something more on stake in some way. So I think it's a little bit because like we we battle ourselves in our own mind. We don't play as we usually. We get a little bit nervous. We don't take the same risks and chances that we usually do. Thank you guys. Good Thank luck. You guys. Thank you guys. I think we're going to go into this game as also being the underdog because I think Navi is the favorite probably to win this event and the best of one everything can go <laughs> wrong or right in that way. Um, but I, I just really hope that we show up on the service day and everyone is like contributing with stuff and I just hope that we play the counter that I know we can.
I told you. Yes, <laughs> Top eight was the goal at, at Star Series. Because, as I said, we are slowly building from, you know, scratch again, so to say. And, and that means we have to go back, first of all, to go back into top eight. And then after that, we have to go to top four. And, you know, so slowly progressing again when you come to ESL New York, we hope to go to top four. And then coming to IM Oakland, I think we want to be in the final. So we have set some realistic goals instead of expecting that we had to win every single event. Which we had previous, it's mindset we had to win everything because once upon a time we were one of the best teams in the world. We know we are not that anymore, so now we have to build and take it from there. <laughs> Our goal is uh, is to, to reach top four for this event. Uh, we need to go to the semi final. You can say that Navi, SK, and, and Versus Pro. I expect them to go into top four, and then it's up to uh, either us, G2, or Fnatic. So if we win today, then I'm 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 pretty uh, confident that we will reach the semi finals, um, and then our goal. We have some goals and if we don't achieve the goals that we set together we have to do some consequences as well. And obviously it's, uh, it's, it, it sucks for a personal life, right? But something has to be done. Or we need to change players again, you know. But the problem is if, if, if we don't get better and we wait too long with, with like being up front with um, substitutions and so such that people could and would probably just say no I'm not interested in playing for Australis and if we end up in a situation like that we have ultimately lost everything. <laughs> 